Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today we're going to talk about Happy Nietzsche's and Phobo Nietzsche's. You may have heard those terms in the planner community lately. They have become fairly popular, um, especially Hobo Nietzsche's in 2019 have really gained in popularity with the mainstream planner community. Hobo Nietzsche is the brand name for a line of Japanese planners. They come in a variety of sizes and styles. Um, I have two of them. I have a Techo, which is a daily planner, and it's 4 by 6 And this is my one from last year. And I liked it so much that I got another one for 2019. And what I use it for is to write down what happens during the day. I have a very bad memory, so I like to keep track of my days in this. And I also do a little planning in it, but mostly it's like a log for me. I don't do the stickers and the washi tape and the decorating in it. It's just pen to paper. Most of the time it's fairly sloppy and all over the place. But I really love this size for that. And the one that I have now, I have a cover on it. And I keep it in my purse. So, and this, the paper is very thin. Um, but depending on the pen that you use, it does not bleed. It has a little shadowing but it's fairly popular this paper because it doesn't bleed easily it depends again it always is going to depend on what pen or marker you're using but yeah okay so there's that Then there's the Hobonichi Weeks, which is this. This is not what it actually looks like. Um, let me see if I can pull one side out of the cover. I have a clear cover over it with a piece of um, patterned paper. There we go. So this is what the book actually looks like. And it's like, like a cloth cover. Um, and I just... Someone gifted me this clear cover and, and I just put a piece of printable pattern paper in between. So, oops, it has that design. I struggle to get this back in there. <laughs> okay. So, it actually, they actually have them with a hard cover and a soft cover. This is a hard cover, but it's not extremely hard just so you know. And I also have these envelopes that I made for um, to fit in your Hobonichi and I was working on making a uh, dashboard or or a writing board. I just haven't laminated. Okay, but anyway, I'm using this for financial stuff so I'll have receipts. Um, I have some clipped in here now that will probably be in the envelopes and so on and so forth so forth. This has the same type of paper as the Tech Show, but it's a weekly planner. Um, it does have monthlies. So all the monthlies are in the front, then you have your weeklies, and then you have just some uh, grid paper in the back. And this is the Hobonichi Weeks. This is a planner spread that I did um, this was before I actually started using it and I was testing my stickers so that's kind of what it could look like if you use stickers in it I'm not I'm not a fan of using stickers on this type of paper I prefer just to write on it which is why I decided I would use this to keep up with my business finances mainly with expenses and such okay so this is the Hobonichi Weeks. 
So if you've heard the term Fobo Nietzsche or Happy Nietzsche, this is what they were referring to. This is part of the Happy Planner Disk System line of planners and notebooks. This is a notebook. It has lined paper. I think they have other varieties that include dot grid and grid paper. This is the half sheet version. They also have the big, which is 8.5 by 11. They have the classic, which is the same size as their classic planner. And they have a mini notes. So the Happy Planner has the notes systems in all the same sizes as their planners. This one has, like I said, has lined paper, but it is based on the half sheet from the Happy Planner. The Happy Planner has half sheet inserts. This is just a few of the half sheets that they offer. They have these half sheet inserts that actually fit in the classic Happy Planner. And that's what they were designed from. They're about half the size of the classic Happy Planner's inserts. Okay. It's a little more than half, but you get the point. <laughs> um, so you could take these out and pop them in on the disc inside of your classic. You could even use these in the big. This is just the same as these. Same size. These half sheets. So they've made a notebook to fit the half sheets. Some members of the planner community have taken it a step further and started using their Happy Notes half sheets or half planners. I don't really know what to call this, but a Fobo Nietzsche or a Hobo Nietzsche at this point. They've taken these half sheet notebooks and started using them like they would a bullet journal. So they're drawing out their um, weekly spreads or monthly spreads or doing their lists or collections. All of that bullet journaling stuff, for lack of a better term, in these half sheet notebooks. And now they're called Fobo Nietzsche's or Happy Nietzsche's. So that's all it is. It's a notebook that people have turned into somewhat of a bullet journaling system for planning. So even though Hobonichi has more to their line than just the Hobonichi Weeks, when you hear the term Fobonichi or Happy Nichi, they are referencing the Hobonichi Weeks. I think the main thing is that this is a Happy Planner style and it is slender similar to the Hobonichi Weeks. So in lieu of getting a Hobonichi Weeks, the Happy Planner lovers use the happy notes and I can see why they like it I do actually like the size of this I think the size is really nice now let's do the size comparison so this is the classic happy planner this is the Hobonichi weeks this is the Hobonichi tech show I don't have any of the other Hobonichis um, that are larger and this is I don't even know where this one would fit on the scale <laughs> This is the mini happy planner. So that's what they all look like stacked up together. Um, the tech show, the weeks, the mini. As you can see, the mini is slightly wider than the half sheet or half notebook. I don't know what to call this thing. Um, than the photo Nietzsche. Okay. So I hope, hopefully you got a good comparison as far as size goes okay so we're gonna move these out of the way and talk about this it wasn't my original intent to do this but I figured I would give it a shot I don't know I wanted to try this out but I did not want a bullet journal in this or create my own spreads because I already do that in my Kaye notebook that I use for my plan with me. So I didn't really want to do anything from scratch. So instead of that, I decided to go ahead and design a monthly spread. And then I just went nuts and did <laughs> weekly, a weekly horizontal and a weekly vertical. So that's what I'm going to show you here in the front. This is the note paper that actually came with this Happy Notes um, 
this is the daily schedule half sheet and another of the half sheets that I just popped in just to show you that yes the half sheets actually fit in here okay these are the inserts that I designed so I'm gonna flip through them real quick this is an Ollie clip um, it's like a page marker it's magnetic and it works great if you're gonna use a magnetic um, page marker or clip these are the ones to get so they're really strong okay so this is what the vertical week on two pages looks like um, I haven't planned on this yet these were my test prints but I just wanted to pop on and show you what they look like if you're one of those people like me that does not want to bullet journal in your happy notes but you like the size and would like to try it out as a planner these are all printables um, they're already listed in my shop if you're interested and I will leave the links down below so this is the week on two pages it comes with a place two places for checklists at the bottom and it also includes a tracker let's flip over to this is the these are the cover designs I printed these on just regular paper the same paper that I printed the inserts on but you could also print them on cardstock put a little tab on them however you like um, this is the week on two pages I started doing some planning on it, in it last night I still want to decorate a little more but it kind of gives you a little bit of a feel for what it looks like once you start planning and here is the blank horizontal spread so let's go on and flip on over to the monthly this is the monthly spread I left this column blank for you to do whatever you want you can put a huge sticker with the month on it you can stamp it I just left it blank I don't like being forced to do notes or whatever so I didn't want to have to cover anything up and all that I don't yeah so I left it blank for you to do what you want with it um, and that's it all of these are undated lined available in the shop now as printables and yeah that is the Fobonichi and just a few inserts that's what it looks like I still have the packaging on here as you can see I think this was $9.99 at Hobby Lobby and of course I use a 40% off coupon and there's information and that's it so hopefully you gained a little insight into the world of Fobo Nietzsche and Happy Nietzsche's if you have any comments or questions please leave them below if you like videos like this please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye